So today we are going to be looking at tables and we're going to be looking at them and trying to figure out what kind of function is being represented. Is it a linear function? Is it a quadratic function? Or is it neither? All right, so I've got three examples to look at. Let's take a look at the first one. We've got table A here, we've got x values from 0 to 5, and then we've got different y values. Now, the first thing you're going to do is figure out how is y changing? So notice, from here to here, it's going up 3. Then here to here, it's going up 3. Then from here to here, it's going up 3. 13 to 16, it goes up 3. 16 to 19, it's going up. So notice, it's adding 3 every single time from each row. All right? So since it's repeatedly adding the same amount each time, we know that this is linear. All right? And we say that it's linear because it's repeatedly adding the same amount every single time. Or you could think of it this way. That first difference is constant. Is constant. I'm running out of room. There we go. All right. So notice, what I mean by first difference is when I take the rows and I subtract them to find the difference between each row, I get the same number for between every pair of rows. All right, so that's how we know it's linear. All right, let's go to the next one here. Table B. This one's a little bit different now. Okay, so if you look here, from here to here, from 4 to 5, it's adding 1. From 5 to 8, it's adding 3. From 8 to 5, uh, 8 to 13, it's adding 5. From 13 to 20, it adds 7. And from 20 to 29, it's adding 9. OK, so notice it's adding a different amount each time. This is not linear. All right, remember, linear would be adding the same amount each time. OK, so it's not linear. Now what do we do? Well, now what we can do is figure out how much are these first differences changing. OK, so remember, this is the first difference. And it's changing by a different amount each time. Now let's look at the second difference to see how much these are changing. Because there's a pattern here. Okay? So from 1 to 3, it's going up by 2. From 3 to 5, it's going up by 2. From 5 to 7, it's going up 2. And from 7 to 9, it's going up 2. Notice, this second difference, it's adding the same amount each time. So the second difference is constant. Anytime you have a table where the second difference is constant, it is a quadratic function. OK? So we can easily check to see if it's linear or quadratic by looking at the first difference or the second difference. If the first difference is constant, it's linear. If the first difference isn't constant, but the second difference is, it's quadratic. All right, let's see one more example here. Here we go. Table C. We've got uh, from 4 to 5, it's going up 1. From 5 to 7, it's going up 2. From 7 to 11, it's going up 4. From 11 to 19, it's going up 8. And then from 19 to 35, it's going up 16. OK. So it's not linear. The amount we're adding each time changes, so it's not linear. That's our first difference. All right. Now, since it's not linear, we got to check to see if it's quadratic now. So now, let's see what the second difference is. From 1 to 2, it's going up 1. From 2 to 4, it's going up 2. From 4 to 8, it's going up 4. From 8 to 16, it's going up 8. So that's our second difference. All right. Now notice, our second difference is also changing. So this is not a quadratic either. This is neither. All right. So that's what we were looking at today, is just checking out to see those different dif those the pattern of the differences, all right? So again, if the first difference of your table 
is constant, it's linear. If the second difference of your table is constant, it's a quadratic. And if neither of those things happen, then it's neither. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also, subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.